Tourism Minister Richard Seeley believes it is an exaggeration to say Bridgetown is dead. He shared this view recently during a town hall meeting at Solidarity House to discuss proposals outlined in the National Tourism Programme. Now, we continue to hear this. Uh, even people who are thought would know better change of commerce and so on. Bridgetown is far from dead. How could Bridgetown be dead if you're here and you have 150 taxis down there fighting for 30 minutes off? Um, you know, you go into to, to so many streets, there's so much activity um, of, of all sorts and all others. Um, you know, a small street is a lot of parts of Robert Street. It's, uh, even some of where we are uh, trying to beautify through there by Central Street and so on. Uh, I would admit that after hours things do tend to get really quiet, but Bridgetown is far from dead. And I think that what we are doing here is to enhance it and to probably try to leverage the tourism potential in a more significant way. But, but I just thought I would say that uh, from, from certainly my perspective. I don't see Bridgetown as any dead or dying city at all. Uh, but uh, we do hear this, and this is not an exercise in trying to resurrect the dead. This is an exercise in trying to embellish and enhance something that is beautiful, something that is meaningful, and uh, that's really what this is about. Uh, the $40 million National Tourism Program includes a number of improvements in the city, including better lighting and drainage, enhanced infrastructure, more green spaces, and the introduction of water taxis. It is part of a country strategy formulated by the Inter-American Development Bank to address vulnerabilities in the sector.